find it? No, I haven't found out about the override system yet. But I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? That's part of it. Armstech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. It looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. Did you find the file for the override system? Just wait a little longer. I found out a lot about the arms industry, though. After the Cold War ended, the United States slashed its defense budget by more than 15%. Naturally, the arms industry was severely affected. It resulted in an orgy of mergers and acquisitions. Some of the big arms conglomerates today are made up of what 10 years ago would have been 20 or more smaller arms companies. Arms Tech is one of those. But we lost our bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jets. Then we took a stab at civilian applications, but that was a failure too. The company was about to go belly up. Ironically, the Defense Department was in pretty much the same situation. Thanks to big budget cuts, they were forced to turn to the private sector to help fund their weapons development. On top of that, the government began to actively export their advanced weapons technology to the private sector in order to maintain a high standard of quality in the country's defense armaments. Eventually, they decided on a joint development project for new weapon systems between the DOD and the private sector. And since both sides were in such bad financial shape, that's where all the backscratching came in. So there was another reason for the joint development of Metal Gear, huh? It wasn't just President Baker trying to keep arms tech afloat. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernotin, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? <sighs> Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation, or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India, I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the President will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars. That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed an octopus and the Armstead president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bug shit. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. 
There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Galukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. Well, he's the one who gave us the hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What are you saying? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We can still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Galukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? <laughs> What's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. From today, call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Beryl, she's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see, the override system that the President was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Yeah. Snake! This is bulletproof glass! There's no way in! 
I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Snake, you've got to get that key. Snake, they've input both detonation codes. The only way to stop the launch now is to use the car key to re-input the codes. Find that key. It fell somewhere in that drainage ditch. Your sea rations are frozen? Never eat frozen sea rats. It'll cause a temperature imbalance that'll drain your strength. Make sure you warm those seas before you eat them. You lost the key? Hurry up and find it. They've already entered the detonation code. The only way to stop that launch is to lock the system by re-inputting the detonation codes. somewhere in that drainage ditch. Use your mind detector. Mind detector? Yes, the mind detector works just like a metal detector. The position of the car key should show up on your radar screen. Now who's being ridiculous? No, I'm right. 
There's no other possibility. Rats eat all sorts of things. There's nothing unusual about that.
key change shape. Hurry up to the control room, Snake. The key change shape. Hurry to the control room and input it. to exposition for no particular reason. The man you saw die was not the DARPA chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He thought his Bill Cosby impression would be funny. It was not! Okay, thanks for nothing, asshole. Don't mention it. 